could be a lot of questions that, oh, why Rafa decided to come to USL, but th there's a plan behind There's a plan, a big plan behind it. The Monterey Bay FC Union unveiled arguably their biggest signing to date when they signed former San Jose Earthquake and Liga MX Cruz Azul star Rafael Baca. Baca's ties to Monterey Bay FC run deep, with both head coach Frank Yollop and assistant coach Ramiro Corrales being part of the Earthquakes organization while Baca was with the squad, aiding in his decision to join the union. I called them uh, like a couple of months ago, actually, and just he's like, yeah, I want to go back to the States and this and that. I'm like, well, come and play for us. And, you know, we went back to Ford. I mentioned it to Frank, our head coach, and he goes, yeah, let's get him out here. Something else that swayed Baca's decision was the fact that he accomplished everything to be accomplished while with Cruz Azul. I actually ended up winning everything that could be possibly won in the Liga MX and with the club. I did everything. I did uh, college here, MLS, and then I went down to Mexico. So I think uh, I have uh, a special story that can impact a lot of young kids. Still in the prime of his career at 33 years old, Baca knows he can help bring a veteran presence to the team. I think I have two or three years in me that I could still contribute things to the team through hard moments, your, your head starters, and that's the time where you need some guy of experience to, to keep pushing them forward and try to get the best out of them. Baca says he has a long-term plan with the team, helping out players on and off the pitch. And hopefully in the future we can be selling players to Europe and uh, getting young talented guys out there. And it's either sending them to college, if they want to go study, getting them to play here, making the jump to the MLS, or helping them get to Mexico. So I think I have a lot that I can contribute to them, and I'm here to help. In Seaside, Jake Flores, KSBW, Action News 8.